Hi, I'm Gavin. Um, so I made a video about the Canon R5C and I thought it was a follow-up, but I'd do a, um, a video about how you work with the material that it generates. The R5C um, makes 8K RAW files. Now, 8K, if anybody's dealt with red files um, and things like that, 8K RAWs, they're, they're pretty in process intensive and they're pretty, you know, they're pretty chunky. So thankfully, like the reds, um, and now I think the Black Magics have got this. You can shoot inbuilt camera proxies. So you can shoot, say, on the R5C, you can shoot your 8K RAW to the CF card, and then you can shoot your proxies, your low resolution proxies, to the SD card. And this is great uh, because it gets around two things. Fundamentally, what we used to have to do before we had inbuilt proxies and cameras, we'd bring our files back, we'd have to transcode them, which takes ages and then build the proxies and then link them up and then we could edit. But doing it in the camera is fantastic. And also it means that it's really transportable. So you can be on set, you can shoot your um, footage, you've got your proxies immediately and then you can upload them to the cloud. They can be pulled down remotely and uh, they can start to edit. So there's, you know, there's a great workflow there built into the camera. It's not just the R5C, it's in the C70 as well, and I believe the, the bigger ones, the C300s and all that. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd go through each um, edit package and show you how it works, because it's not quite as simple as it seems. If you're a one-man band, it's easy, because you've got the masters and the proxies all together. But if you're like in a team and you're working with a facility, you may have to deliver the proxies first, and then at a later date, come back and deliver the masters. So you'd have to start editing the proxies. Now, the way these proxies are constructed, now I think this happens with the Sony's as well. It adds extra letters, extra things like that to help designate that it's a proxy file. Now, some of the edit packages don't tally up properly when you do this. They don't like a misnamed proxy compared with the original master. Anyway, so I'll go through how you can sort of do it with Final Cut, uh, Premiere, and resolve. I'm not tu not touching Avid. Uh, it's just I don't I don't. It just gives me the chills. I started work on Avid in my, when my career, and I'm not going going bad. I'm not a fan of it. Anyway, so we'll look at each one of these. So you may be seeing this video like a couple of times because it will be the start of each one of those sort of mini videos. Anyway, so hopefully the takeaway from this is you'll be able to shoot confidently, high res masters and proxies. Go back edit with proxies on a lower spec computer, then finish and grade when you reconform with your high resolution masters, which you've also captured. Anyway, I hope it helps. Um, there you go. Another proxy workflow set up with the cannons. Um, so here we are. So we've got a O T three. This has got the CRM folder in it, which has got my um, master raw files, 8K master raw files in it, and here's the second card, AO24, and in the contents folder, it's got the XAVC clips, MXFs here, which is the proxies. So, we're going to do this in DaVinci Resolve. So let's fire up Resolve. Here we are. And it's, I'm in the media pool here, and over here you can see my demo folder. Here's my A203, which has got my CRMs in, my raws. So I'm going to bring my raws into the media pool. Okay, there they are. Okay, but don't worry though, so I'm going to link my proxies to them. So select them, right click, relink to proxy media. So now jump into demo folder AO24, which has the contents folder, which has the clips in, and then click open. And now, as you can see, DaVinci Resolve is really clever. Little purple PX. PXY has appeared here. So and up the top here, you can see it's also I've got proxy preferred and then click preferred camera originals. And there we are. I sort of mentioned before, I like to do the proxies with a lot on them. And obviously the log, the, the raw ones are log. So you don't see that. So you can tell which is which. That's it. So dead simple way to link up your in-camera proxies in Resolve. <clears throat> okay, let's get rid of all this. Let's delete that and let's try and do it. The other way around so <clears throat> i've received the proxy files but i haven't got the masters so here's my proxies let's put those into media pool 
and now let's relink these so I don't know let's create a timeline with these in new timeline using selected clips create go to the edit page there's my timeline you can see these proxies because it's got a lot on it back to media so I'll finish my edit I want to reconnect these because all my master files are here so click that pop up right click on it you got link to forest media so now we'll go back into my demo folder back to a203 back to crm and there's my raws and now i click real and click open and nine clips could not be found so close perform comprehensive search no basically what's happened is davinci resolve can't link back the other direction however there is a way around this you could obviously go in and do the thing where you rename all the p files at the beginning so you take the p off and they match up but there's a way to do it which is just called conforming so i'm going to create over here i'm going to create a new bin new bin and that new bin is going to be called master so there it is and in that new bin i'm going to drag in my master files which are in here so here's my crms so now i've got all my master files and then I've got all my proxies outside here so I mean to be for neatness new bin let's put a proxy bin so there we are proxy I'm going to pop all the proxies into that bin so let's go our timeline so I've got a link to all my masters I've got a link to my and I've got my proxies bin so it's nice and neat so what do I want to do? So I, what I need to do is to what's called is to reconform from bins. Okay, so let's select all of these timeline. Uh, always forget where this is. Edit. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Timeline. It's up there. Sorry. Right click on timeline. Timeline reconform from bins click on that okay please deselect the conform lock for the clips to be reconformed so what you need to do first of all you've got them all selected you right click and it says conform lock enabled on all of them so let's uncheck conform lock and then do that again timeline reconform from bins now we get this window fly up so over here we've got your bins. Now I know my master files are in my master folder, so that I want to uncheck everything apart from my master. And we do know the source time codes will match. And they could get really complicated down here with rematching stuff and conforming. But all we need to know for this is the time code matches between the two files. So now what I'll do is click OK. And now we now have our proxies have been replaced by our masters there you go now all right just for neatness grab them all right click conform lock enabled and there you go so now i've switched over to my master file proxy prefer camera originals prefer proxies you see just do that again prefer originals prefer proxy there you go so it's the same so those are the masters because we have got no lot no um no lot a lot on them just quickly it's bavada color management quick look sdr save there we go now they look like the proxies because i've put them into davinci resolve color management Let's switch that off and there you go so not too hard not as simple as premiere but um it's totally doable to move between the two and work with the proxy workflow and then reconform to your masters afterwards so there you go that's how you do it in davinci resolve this is 18.6 uh,